so as uh, you must be knowing there are different actors various actors uh, who are coming up and saying that you know they are not paid on time and because of this lockdown they don't have money they are facing financial crisis and they have worked on shows and producers have suddenly stopped taking their calls uh, they are not reverting there are you know uh, multiple actors who have come forward and op- uh, spoken about this uh, what is your take this 3 month ka jo aap logo ka पीरियड होता है पेमेंट पीरियड क्या आपको लगता है स्पेशली लॉकडाउन किसी ने भी नहीं सोचा था कि हम अचानक से यू नो द एंटायर वर्ल्ड विल बी फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम लाइक यू नो कोविड 19 सो व्हाट इज योर टेक नाउ शुड शुड द एसोसिएशंस एंड प्रोड्यूसर्स कम फॉरवर्ड एंड दे शुड ट्राई एंड मेक न्यू गाइडलाइंस जिसकी वजह से एक्टर्स की लाइफ थोड़ी इजी हो बिकॉज़ पीपल हु हैव वर्क on shows for years even they are struggling to get their money and they don't have money right now you know it is so true um a lot of people are not addressing this issue and i would love to be vocal about this issue because it is true that a lot of my checks also haven't come hmm. i'm blessed that it does not make a difference to me but you know a lot of actors who come from smaller cities who are playing character roles or even leads you know and they, they are staying here in such a big city and you know living in bombay is very expensive when oh. you have your rents to pay when you have you know your other bills and there's so many expenses for even a single person who comes from another you know small city. city to come here and yeah. make his career or her career i firstly from the very first time i started working i was working against this whole three months credit a lot of our contracts say that it's a 90 day credit period but why as per corporate companies you work in any corporate company you get paid on a monthly basis it's a monthly salary why is it that an actor has to wait for 90 days and sometimes we don't even get that money in 90 days we hmm. get it in 120 days and we get it after 6 months which is a ridiculous uh, procedure that the association is following and you know i think this is the time when all these actors are going to realize that how important it is to fight for such issues because a lot lot of actors are insecure they don't want to be vocal about this they never hmm. wanted to fight with their producers saying oh you know what we don't want to follow the 90 day credit rules but it is important that all the actors unite together and the association with the center fights for their artists and says that you know i mean i mean what is the logic for this 90 day credit period a lot of these production houses are listed companies most of them even if they are not listed even if they are private limited companies the channel and the production house enter into a contract where the channel says okay we're going to pay off the 30 days Period. But that's between the channel and the producer, and artists right. must not have anything. To I mean, like, like the producers, he keep aside a part of, uh, you know, their capital for building sets or for, you know, producing um, uh, x number of episodes before they go on air. They should also keep a, uh, a little bit of capital to pay off their technicians and actors. Why do we have to go through this 90-day credit period? And it's it's the um, it's not appreciated at all i mean nowhere nowhere have i heard you know that a 90 day credit period goes on in a field of acting mm-hmm. yeah I, i really think that that policy should just come to an end and also 12 hours of work you know i mean 12 hours is very exhausting for any actor any technician any i mean the kind of environment we work in i'm surprised that nobody wants to you know voice talk it about out. it yeah yeah like, nobody wants to talk about it it's you know people work for 8 hours and 8 hours is when you can keep your mind and you know body active i mean post 8 hours you start slowing down you have you know if you're going to work for 12 hours firstly our sets have started to go from film city towards mira road a lot yeah. of producers N- nigaon umar gaon yeah exactly at uh, the moment a producer calls me and says oh we have the show for you and the set is in nigaon i say no thank you i don't want to do the show no matter how much you want to pay me mm-hmm. because a i'm going to be working for 12 hours traveling to nigaon 
one side i'm talking about if you're living in andheri it takes 2 hours to go 2 hours to come back that's 4 hours you know and um, adding up 4 hours is like 16 hours and and that's it 24 hours mein 16 hours nikal do so hmm. you're hardly left with any time to eat chill with your family i, I mean i just think it's inhuman i hmm. really think that the tv industry has to come to a point where it has to be a little bit more organized and i don't know i don't know like why actors need to be insecure about these things like our producers make a lot of money and it's very obvious i mean people can see it you know um, if you're coming from a very tiny office and then you suddenly buying these lavish offices where you have like three floors with editing studios and this and that and and you don't have money to pay to actors come on you know th- mm. this is why i i really have these arguments with my colleagues as well i'm like why are you guys quiet you know why why don't you guys voice out that you need to be paid it every month and why do you hmm. have to wait for three months to be paid for the work you did today right true if if that would have happened these scenarios wouldn't have happened at all like these actors yeah. who are facing problems where the producers are not paying them hmm. and you know uh, i mean i know because i i did speak to uh, you know uh, one of the I, I don't want to name the production house, but a lot of my checks are pending, and I did speak to the accountant, and he said, "Oh, the office is closed." I'm like, "Well, if the office is closed, you guys can do a RTGS to all your actors. Right? What That's is true. stopping you from doing that? You know, you're just using a lockdown as an excuse." Hmm. So this is all the other totally businesses are uh, running. They are not. Yeah, strong. I, yeah. This is something I'm totally against. I mean, a, a, the association really needs to buck up. and it needs to address a lot of issues uh, that are pro actors pro artists because you don't see this anywhere i mean you don't see this in hollywood you don't see this in uh, tollywood you don't see this in even punjab you know the it is only happening in bombay where you have this rubbish policy where you get paid after 90 days but sometimes you don't get you have to make calls to the producers no it shouldn't be like that i mean like this is what i say when i say that the artist needs to be valued if the actors are going to stop coming let's say let's say we we all actors get together and say okay you know what uh, there is a pandemic out there there's a corona situation out there and we are not going to come to the set because you know we don't feel safe working with so many people hmm. what if right. we get sick what, what if we all say that we're not going to come is a show going to go on air no no everything that the producer makes comes from the artist So why I aren't you giving value to your artist? And when you go to Hollywood, if a show like my show, kya kya ko kya naam do, it's been rerun and rerun and rerun in a lot of countries. It's it's coming on air in Ro- Romania, Romania. It's being played in Turkey. It's being played in um, a lot of parts of Europe. And if you go to Hollywood, you know actors get paid royalty. You know, right. uh, if any of your shows are rerun. So mm. you keep getting paid per episode, even though you're not acting, but you're still getting paid part for of your it. yeah part of it. Which here there I don't know why it's just because a lot of actors don't want to voice this out, and the union doesn't want to do anything. I mean, look at a junior artist union. You know, sometimes we're on set, and there's a lot of junior artists, and we are doing a no break. Like our lunch break is let's say one of them. I am very strict about these things. If I am hungry at one, if I think like a one, one to two, a one hour should be a lunch break. It should be a lunch break for everyone. Right. So a lot of actors don't want to. They, they are okay with it. They are okay with shooting with a no break. I will be the first one who gets up and says, "Hey, it's one o'clock. I don't care if we're shooting a scene. I'm going to go to my vanity. I'm going to eat, and nobody comes in and disturbs." But so many times, you know. The director will say, "Oh, we, I have pressure. I can't do it. I have to finish this episode. We have to do a no break. Blah blah blah." Mm, yeah. And if you see a junior artist can put his hand up and say, "You know what? Screw you. You know I'm going." And their union is so strong that they will take the break. You know, mm. eight hours later they will go back home. They will say, "We're not going to work for twelve hours." But right. why is it that the actors are not so saying this? The actors are just sitting there on the set and working. I mean, why are you guys doing this? Mm. So yeah, I, I the, this, this whole thing revolves around insecurity, you know, uh, of losing job, of not getting the job. Of, 
at it's all. also that and it's also lack of education lack of you know knowing the rules lack of knowing the policies so i i really think that actors should all you know just put their foot down and get strict with the union and the union guys should be pro artists mm, not right, pro good. producers right right i mean uh, without an actor a producer does not have anything yeah right and if both are working simultaneously uh, industry will benefit yeah exactly that's that's how it should be uh talking about uh, uh your career uh, as you said you uh, you know you want you never aspired to become an actor uh how was your uh, uh, you know uh, starting period was it uh, a struggling one or a smooth one kyunki kafi logo ke sath aise hota hai jo jo chahte nahi unko mil jata hai but kafi logo ko struggle bhi karna padta hai So how was it? Was it for you a smooth one? Mine was so smooth, you know. And my friends ask me and they tell me that you're so blessed. And I, you know, though I know that I never wanted to be an actor, I'm so grateful for it. I'm so grateful for my journey that has been because uh, I had just finished my graduation and I was working in an IT company, you know. And I was uh, an independent director at my age. And uh, but I was dealing with, you know, like a full technical. Through, like, I mean, uh, like basically looking into uh, software, hardware, and my my job was very boring. I would be locked up in my cabin looking at numbers all day. And mm-hmm. during my college, I was spotted by one of these casting directors, and she came up to me. She's like, "Why don't you do a music video? You know, you have a very interesting face." And I'm like, "I have never faced a camera in my life." Hmm. The only struggle I faced was because I didn't know how to act. I had never taken any formal education in acting or facing the camera. So I learned it all by experience. You know, my directors had a tough time with me initially. The first two, three projects, my directors would shout and scream, and they would pull their hair out. And like, this is the camera. You have to look here. This is like you know? <laughs> for me. Like I never had to go. that would i never had to go out looking for work it came to me i never like there was in in my family they all doctors and engineers nobody mm. was associated remotely with uh, the creative field or acting or singing or anything creative mm. everyone mm. was just a doctor or an engineer and my father had told me you know you become a doctor or an engineer or you become a finance um mm. study finance and i'm like okay fine so mm. <laughs> It came. It came as a shock to my father as well. My father was like, "You want to become an actor?" And my father could not really deal with it initially. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, it wasn't a struggle at all. The only struggle that that anybody faced were my directors. Those poor directors, and I really thank them for teaching me how to act. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think um, I know a lot of people go through struggle. They go to auditions. They you know uh face rejections of, they face rejections but with me that wasn't the case that's what i and i'm really really grateful for all the journey that has been uh what kind of role you going forward you want to do as you said you are not made up for big boss you feel you have been offered also the show in the past so uh going forward what kind of reality shows or shows you are keen on doing i don't hmm. want to go 50 or 100 years back and play something that happened 100 years back you know i want to look mm. forward i want to do futuristic show mm. Mm. right and what about big boss if you are offered again will you take it up uh if i am offered big boss like i always have been very vocal about this in the meetings with with the you know big boss team that If you guys really want me on Big Boss, I'm just going to be who I am, and I'm just going to be myself, and I, I don't try to put me in situations or get me to give my anything. But so, you'll you'll give a great content to Big Boss because you you don't fear about anything, and you uh, come across as a person who has a mind of her own. Yeah, so I think you will be a, a best option for Big Boss. Yeah, <laughs> I really don't know. I I don't trust myself. And I don't trust them either. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. I I would be open to it. I mean, 
my family is not very comfortable with it. But I mean, okay. I've always said that you know, if I'm I'm gonna play myself, I'll happily. Thank you.